What's up guys? Tim Halstead here for episode 45 of Building Up the Old 409 Cleveland. So this episode is going to be focused more on ceasing the combustion chamber of the cylinder head, the A3 cylinder head. Now if you look on the internet there's a million videos on ceasing cylinder heads. This is nothing different than anybody else's. It's just my video for my series and that's why I'm doing it. And you may pick something up. Uh, the bottom line is it's, it's something anyone can do. Basically, you get some alcohol, and I put some red food coloring in it, and I happen to have a 60cc syringe. It's from a procedure from 2010, 1028, 2010. I kept the syringe, and then I, uh, that way you can see the liquid. And then I made a plate, plexiglass plate, nothing special, hole in the middle. I put a couple air holes because it seemed to get some air in it at times. And then basically, you just put a coating of a grease around it. The valves are already in the cylinder head with checking springs on it and the spark plugs in. Everything's cleaned up. You place it on here. And the gist of it is you instill alcohol into the combustion chamber to fill it up, remove any air, and then you can see how many cc's that that chamber is. Now they're not all the same. I, I, they got to be different. Am I going to go back and check them all? Probably not. I'm just getting a rough idea. I know they measured before 58 cc's which was larger than I thought because I thought they were 54. But I put a different titanium exhaust valve in, and the head is a little bit different compared to the stock valve, which I don't really have right here. So it takes up some of the room in the combustion chamber. The importance of the CCs of the cylinder head, the combustion chambers, that helps you figure out the compression ratio more accurately. And that's what we want to know. I mean, And once you fill that up, you record how many cc's you have, and then when you use your equations to figure out your compression ratio, you can find that now that you know that variable. So you fill that up with a colored alcohol, you figure out how much is missing from the syringe, that gives you an idea in cc's, and you use that in the calculation and compression ratio. It's not rocket science. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but it's funny, when you get to a certain point in compression, you know, one or two cc's makes a big difference in your compression ratio. So. I think before I thought I was 14.5 and I found out I was more like 13.3 or 5, somewhere in there with the 58 cc's, that this is 56, that hopefully it'll bring me up a little bit more. But I didn't feel complete without having this in part of my series, because if you're going to build a high horsepower small block Cleveland, any small block or engine for that matter, you need to know the cc's of the cylinder heads. So just another part of the blueprint in your motor. So check it out. So basically you want your cylinder head set up, you want it level. And I got this little level set up, and any aspect I put it at, it's level. So I'm going that that's going to be good. Make sure that your valves are in there. I just have checking springs and a spark plug. Now I made this little plexiglass cover that keeps the meniscus level. So you're not getting a false reading. They say just use some Vaseline. The only thing I have here is this old, this tranny fluid, assembly fluid. It's good stuff. Now I marked out around the combustion chamber so that I'm not getting it inside there, which again could change the reading if you got grease inside the combustion chamber try to be neat, but you want it to seal too. And I cut a, a, another one, but I, it ended up, I tried to drill it, and I went too fast, and I cracked it. So this is the remnant of what I got left. Worked out good. Nothing crazy. And then just check it out and see how when you lay it down, how it's going to come out. Which looks pretty darn good. I want to put a little more over here. And kind of place it center. The main thing is you want to not have air getting in it. Now you 
want to make sure that it's seated good. The grease is going to make that seal so you're not leaking all over the place. All right, so let's check it out. Let's see how much we can put in here out of the 60cc syringe. The trick is to go slow and not get any air in there. Just take it nice and easy. It's kind of like a graduated cylinder with a barrette. You need to get one of them. Not much to do but watch it. So I'm at 50 right now. Oh, that looks pretty good. All right, I got my glasses. Let's see where we're at. So that'd be 55. That would make this 55 cc's. There's still, I can still get some more in there. Let's try it. There it is, man, that's perfect. And we got, this is hard to read. So that'd be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. One, two, three, four, five. I'm telling you, that's 55 or 56. Right there. And I'll show you, that thing's, that looks good. Perfect. And that was level. So let's get this thing to the dyno, man. Am I going to do the rest of them? I don't know. I'm here. I may do a couple. We'll check it out. Stay tuned. There you go, Blake Livingston, with your E at the end. There's your hammer, brother. So now I can refigure my compression ratio, and I bet you picked up some with that. That's it. That's all you do to, to measure it. The main thing is to make sure you don't have air in there. And I actually had to drill a couple holes on here, and I'll show you a picture of it. where to make sure that the air would be out of there. Even though it's level, it still has a little tendency to get air. It worked out pretty well. So you can do this at home. There's a lot of videos on it. Mine's nothing special. It's just me doing it here. Part of the complete package of getting these cylinder heads back to where they should be. There you go. It's 56 cc's. Does it make that much of a difference? Probably not. 
56, 57, who cares? If I can get a 950, that's all that matters to me. So I appreciate everybody tuning in. I got the next video I'm going to do is, is the cam timing I was mentioning, and I'll feature some products. I got my carburetor from Patrick at Pro Systems and the fuel system from him and a fuel log. And then I'm working with Orm Brothers. I haven't talked to them in, a, in a, probably a week because I got other things going on and I don't need that stuff right now. And I know those guys are busy. Um, same with the push rod. Once I get the cam timing done, I'm going to do a video on hopefully on mid lift rocker arm geometry and get the push rods measured up because I think I'm going to need a shorter push rod. I think I had too long of a push rod because I've been working on that. But thanks guys for subscribing and sharing. Stay tuned.